going everybody? So we're back talking some more House of the Dragon on the channel. It's season 2 finally premiering tonight. I've been super stoked to dive back into the House of the Dragon. I even snuck in a little bit of a season 1 rewatch because it has been a long wait in between seasons. Two years. I definitely need a little bit of a refresher before going into season 2. Especially because season 2 episode 1 delivers a very strong beginning for the season. Of course this is only just the beginning but the build up already has me excited for all the things that are going to come throughout the season. Even just in this premiere episode, they pack in so much emotion throughout the whole episode, really. You very much feel that tension building throughout of the impending war on the horizon between Team Black and Team Green in the wake of Lucerus' death. Which, speaking of Lucerus' death, maybe it's also because I just re-watched the season one finale, but I'm still just as heartbroken over that loss while Rhaenyra is searching for his remains. Something about season two I'm kind of worried about going forward in the future is the fact that there are less episodes in season two compared to season one. It's eight episodes a season two compared to 10. Which has me worried going down the line if they're going to rush through things, but for right now, I personally like how episode one takes its time gearing things up for the inevitable big clashes down the line. Gaining perspective on things from both sides as each of them try to rally people for their cause. You know, you got Allison and Otto rallying people in the south, moving forces throughout the Reach. Admittedly, the much cooler aspect was the north, being introduced to Cregan Stark when Jaceris arrives to try and have him fight for Rhaenyra. Now I love me some Starks, I'm not as familiar of course with Cregan Stark. And just this little bit that we got in episode one has me really excited to continue to see how we develop the character. I very much can see him being one of my personal new favorite characters for season two. For as fun as it was getting to see the wall again, it was a tad bit awkward when they're talking about what the wall is there for, what it's keeping out, because it is a stark reminder, no pun intended, of what's to come in season eight of Game of Thrones, which for a lot of people, myself included, is a very disappointing season. It was no shock to me at all that Damon wants to execute his own plan while Rhaenyra is dealing with their grief losing her son, trying to force Rhaenys to fly with him back to King's Landing so they can just kill Vagar. More so, I understood him being angry, frustrated at Rhaenys, because I was as well, because last season she did have the opportunity to basically extinguish all of this stuff with Team Green if she had just killed them right then and there, and then Luke would still be alive. If you want to talk about some real mess, though, everything revolving around Kristen, Cole, and Alicent. I mean, now they're shacking up behind the scenes. As if I couldn't loathe Kristen Cole even more, even though part of it probably is jealousy. We've seen over time Allison as a character has just slowly unraveling. It continues to be evident in this episode alone, being in the middle of this conflict. It's kind of interesting how they're writing the character and making her seem a whole lot more sympathetic with the ongoing conflicts around her, as if some of this stuff going around her wasn't entirely her fault too. Going back to Rhaenyra though, I have always loved Emma de Arcy as the character, but they take everything up a notch in season two with this heart-wrenching, emotional performance. So many of Rhaenyra's scenes in episode one are just purely heartbreaking. Her sadness and grief hit so deeply and hit you right in the emotions in every single scene. You feel that pain mixed with rage slowly building from within as she's being reluctantly pushed into this war. Among the various different things that shocked me in episode one was King Aegon. I am not a big fan of Aegon as a character, especially season one Aegon. I thought he was extremely irritating. However, it was a bit jarring that he is one of the major standouts in episode one and how differently his personality has shifted as he actually has more of a personality while trying to be king. Dare I say he even has some sequences in episode one that genuinely made me laugh. Being a Game of Thrones fan, I am accustomed to characters I dislike getting some good moments here and there. Nevertheless, it still always is an odd feeling when there's a character that you do not like, but you have to admit that their performance was shockingly good, and that was the case here for Tom Glen Carney as Aegon. Speaking of Tom Glen Carney, he's actually going to be a guest at a convention I'm going to next week, which I'm super excited about. And because of that, and I'm going to be on the road, I might not be able to cover episode two of House of the Dragon. So just want to give you guys a heads up that I might not be able to next week because I'm going to be in Texas. I really got to hand it to whoever's in charge of House of the Dragon's marketing because it's been amazing from beginning to end. I knew we were going to be in for some madness here with an episode titled Son for a Son, and it comes out on Father's Day. And that's on top of Damon putting on his hoodie, which he usually only does when he's committing crimes, and he is committing crimes. He's getting help from Blood and Cheese to assassinate children. I guess if there's a bright side to this situation, which there really isn't one, is the fact that we didn't actually visibly see the child being murdered. We've seen a lot of messed up stuff in Game of Thrones, but I'm kind of glad we didn't see that at least. Poor Helena, though. I feel so horrible for her. She's one of the few people in Team Green that I actually do enjoy. So if this is just the beginning of the war between Team Black and Team Green this season, it's just gonna keep ramping up from here. But now for my thoughts on episode one of season two of House of the Dragon. Make sure you share your thoughts down below. What'd you think of this season premiere for House of the Dragon season?
season two. Did you like the episode? Did you not like the episode? Show your thoughts down below because the fun is just that conversation with you guys in the comments section. Thank you guys. As always, for checking out videos, I always do appreciate it. Make sure you like on the video and also subscribe to the channel to update reviews, reactions, unboxings, and more. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.